Hello, everybody. It is I, Claude, Claude the Balls, here with my latest show, Talking Balls. Oh, dear. I had a bit of an echo there, but I think I've uh, fixed it now. So we can get on with the show. <laughs> oh, I see greetings from... Mark the Stony, how are you, Mark? <laughs> yes, I had a bit of bad luck the other day. I go on, but um, there was another show on at the same time. So no point in having uh, too many shows. Uh, hello, Mod Missing, how are you? And there's the Old Faithful has turned, the Old Faithful Ghost. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. Now, just to let you know, Tragedy, it's somebody's birthday today. The big bad mama. So the big bad mama is not going to be on the show because she is choosing to celebrate with probably, maybe she has one friend, I don't know, uh, with a friend. So um, we're not going to hear from the big bad mama today, but we're going to say happy birthday to big bad mama. Yay. And you know what happens on your birthday? No, yeah, birthday spankings. Not going to decide. <laughs> We're not going to discuss it here. <laughs> uh, trust gangster ghost to know. <laughs> How are you anyway, ghost? I'm okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So that's quite exciting for a birthday. I presume uh, the big bad mama is turning maybe thirty or so. Which is good. Are and, you turning uh, 21? Yeah, I wish. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if they made a machine that could reverse their aging. What yeah. would age you choose? I think mid 30s is good. Uh -huh. You know, I think around 35, I think would be quite good. Because um, uh, in some ways, we think, you know, I might want to do some things differently. And um, then what I've done before, but then in other ways, I don't want to go through all the, you know, the pain <laughs> and everything of, you know, if it was a complete uh, repeat of my life, I might not like it so much, you know. Yeah. What would you choose to be, guys? What, what age would you choose to be? 21. 21. Wow. And would you be a gangster ghost, or what else would you be if you had the choice? A uh, quad gangster. Ah, well, yes, I, I will have to say that many people, they want to be the Claude, but, uh, you know, not everybody can be, of course. Um, oh, I want to yeah. be on string Murrier. All right, yeah. I saw Dawson was on there. He's a great was guy. He? Oh, was he on there, or you thought that he was on there? Uh, he was on there, but uh, then P-Town will start talking about Mark, and it got all, uh, Mark came on, uh, and yeah, uh, P-Town, I don't know, he was like, that was a bit crazy, a bit of out of character, because normally he's a very nice guy, and Oh, was it long? Was it uh, how long did the show go for? I'm not sure. Oh, it was crazy. Oh, uh, 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 oh, uh, do you see my video of Stephen Harrison teleporting? No, when did that, when did that go up? <laughs> A little, little while ago. Oh, I will do after the show is over. I will, um, I will go back and have a look. Um, a big bad mark. Yes, the missing one uh, says big bad number isn't coming to the surprise party, but she wishes she could give him something for his birthday. Yes, well, the, the, yes, uh, yes, missing mod, you can join, of course. Yeah. 
So what, uh, just while we're waiting for Missy Mount to join to, uh, Ghost, what was this P-Town guy saying? Does he have his own channel, if I want to go and have a listen? Yeah, but you look up his name, uh, you know, run into uh, all kinds of stuff, like uh, oh. gay pipe raids and stuff. Oh. If you can email me a link to the show so I can find it easily, that would be great. Yeah, well. Yeah. yeah. He's yes. a crazy little guy. Uh, yeah. But, uh, uh, and in your part of the world, is it cold at the moment or hot or what? Cold. Cold. Oh. Yeah. And uh, in my part of the world, it's, uh, it's hot, always hot. <laughs> oh. For real? What time of a temperature is it? Oh, 30, 30s, so Singapore, tropical, yeah. Oh. You know, what well, subtropical, whatever you want to call it. It's not, a, it's, not a, it's not like a desert island or anything, but it's, yeah, it's hot all year round in there. Oh. So in my next move, I have to go to a colder place because I tell you what, it gets sick of air condition all the time, yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh. Would you ever go to uh, Sweden? Yeah, but maybe I want to go in summer, you know. I think oh. Sweden in summer would be nice, yeah. Is it cold in France? At different times of year. I'm not there at the moment, but at this time of year in the uh, in the central parts and near the mountains, yes, it would be cold. Oh, yeah. is it? Uh, are you there on vacation? Or no, I'm going to be there for a while. One or two things I'm doing, and where, and I'm going to be closer to a few places that I will, will be doing a bit of traveling. But I was going to be in Australia, but that got changed. So now I will be in the Singapore, but that's all right. It's actually on the same time zone as Mark Red, you know. And if uh, if I want to fly to Perth in Australia. It's only a few hours, so pretty good, eh? <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> per per Aspera and Astra said they had snow. I don't know where they are from. But they had oh. snow today. Missing Mod says it's very hot in her part, Florida, I guess. It's for those um Ella 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 Crocodile gators or alladiles or whatever. It gets very hot. Mm. Oh, no. uh, mm. uh, but uh, do you go a lot of places like on vacation or business? Yes, a mix of things. Yes, I go to a few different places. And, um, oh. mm. Next year, July or something, I'm going to go to the UK. Well, that'll be good. That's a good time. It's going to be, you know, comparatively warm. It never gets as hot as, like, in you know, parts of the USA, but you should get some good weather and everything. How long will you be there for? I, for a couple of weeks. Right. Can you stay longer and go somewhere else, like to the France or whatever? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Because, uh, you know, when you go all the way there, it's good if you can um, perhaps go some other place too, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, because and, and make the, cause I guess the, the most part is to pay for the airfare and to get there. And when you're there, if you can do some good things. Um, oh. Hmm. Oh, yeah, uh, in France, do they have French fries? <laughs> pommes frites. <laughs> it's the same thing, but they call it pommes frites. Pom, pommes potato, yeah. But they should call French fries. After <laughs> I don't know who first decided to call them French fries. I don't know. It sounds good. Uh, 
Mark said it was 50s. That's Fahrenheit yeah, where he is, but he was wearing shorts. Mm. Hello to Robin. Who? Robin Webster, yeah? Hmm. Uh, uh, Motorbike doesn't wear shorts. No, he never wears. I do. You know, oh. I wear longs when it's cold. I wear shorts when it's hot. And I, when it's really hot, I wear the bathing things, you know, the costume for going into the sea or the swimming pool. Hmm. Do you know that uh, Burr Pike is a panther castle? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Instead of a pentecostal, a panther castle. That's quite good. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you, see, do you see that new video Mark made about cats? Mark, who, which Mark? Mark Sony. Oh, no, I'll go and have a look. Yeah. It's funny. And I see AJ has put one up of Kent and, uh, and who was it? Uh, we were just talking about him. On the, um, oh, the preacher guy, you know, who? No, no, no. Um, our good, a good guy. Oh, oh he does your shows. We were just Mark mentioned his no, not Peter. Um, well, uh, let me think. Who are the guys you have on doing the shows? Brother Pike, Brother oh, yeah. Pike yes, Brother Pike. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. AJ put something out. I don't know when the main show was, but yeah, but he does. You say he doesn't wear why doesn't he wear the long shorts for? Is he worried about something? He's uh, Father Charles thinks he has uh, chicken legs. <laughs> How's Father Charles? Hi, the way. Good. Yeah. Has he made his big announcement yet? No. Uh, oh, maybe we're not going to get one now. We will have to make up our own announcement for him. Yeah. What if <laughs> his announcement that you found out you're his long lost? Son. Well, that would be good because that would mean I'm quite a bit younger <laughs> at the moment. I think I'm older. <laughs> Hello, Missing Mod. That's a very nice picture. Hi. Hi Thank Mark. you. Mm. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Perfect. You could you could send that picture, that feta, to uh, Big Bad Maman for his <laughs> birthday. Oh, yeah, birthday, yes. Yeah, he probably wouldn't want it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Okay. He, I think he has many ladies, of course. You know, I, many uh, lady callers. Yes. <laughs> I told him happy birthday. He said, "You guys better not be talking about my birthday." <laughs> happy birthday to you. Oh no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm like, how in the world are you not here? Like chilling with who you really want to hang out with uh, well he's probably got some date lined up you know oh that's mm. true i, I think, think so that. yes yes <laughs> where's robin at i heard you say she was out there she was in there somewhere i think yeah robin webster hey all yeah yeah, yeah. robin speaks like from the south is that right mm. Um, well, she's from Kentucky, yeah. So, I guess mm. it sound, they all sound the same. I guess <laughs> I, I don't know, probably not, but no, she sound different to you. Yeah, you I didn't realize I had an accent though, yeah, yeah, because we always think everybody else has one, but not us. Uh, but like Big Bad Mama to me doesn't have a strong accent, neither does Ghost actually, but some of them from the south, y'all. You know, y'all yeah. and <laughs> eating craw dads, craw dads. Is that craw dads? Yes, craw uh, dads. They, yeah. yeah, I always think of them having a very strong accent. You know? <laughs> yeah, they're like little lobsters of mm. like I don't know. They used to um, get them out of a not a retention pond, but um, canals. You know, when I was young, oh. so I wouldn't know oh. those things, but. 
So they're Which quite small crawdads. Yeah. Then, huh? Are they yeah. like uh, bigger than the shrimp and smaller than the lobster? Or... Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm learning something every day. <laughs> you sure. <laughs> Tubian says, I thought your accent was put on at first. Sorry. Well, <laughs> you know, we all play characters. <laughs> Uh, the main thing is we all have some fun and some discussions. Yeah, Mark says they're freshwater crust, crustaceans about the size of a shrimp. Hmm. Interesting. I'm only getting that from I don't know, the Beverly Hillbillies, you know, like to the crawdads and vittles and all that sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're, um, I don't know. Creep me out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm not big into that myself, you know, but I tend to just eat more just ordinary things. Uh, yeah, this kind of weird. Like, you got to shell them and stuff too, right? Like, I don't mm, know. I think so. What about the insides? It doesn't mean you're eating, you know, ooh, ooh, <laughs> and I like the thought. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're supposed to suck the brains out or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Ah, Cajun stuff, yeah, huge French influence too. Yeah, that's right. Cajun, I sort of get the idea that I would quite like Cajun food, you know. Uh, yeah. Do you have Cajun food mod? Do you get that down there? Um, Yeah. I don't, I'm yeah. not like a big, huge fan of it. I like spicy food though. Yeah, well, that would be quite spicy, sp uh, spicy, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, do I uh, hear a per Oh, it's someone doing some stuff outside in the street <laughs> here. So it oh. doesn't matter because I've gone down near a park and I'll have to. Uh, typical. Is it very loud? <laughs> no, I just was making sure you were okay. I don't want nobody coming after you with a chainsaw. It's a massive, someone's come after me. Oh my God. <laughs> Claude is splattered all over the place. I am splatter, splatter, splatter. Yeah, I have to change my name to Claude Ball Splatter. Yeah. <laughs> per Aspera says that as a child they used to catch crawdads in the creek. So, oh, interesting. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Are you back home yet? I I didn't I missed that part. No, I'm going it. to be in Singapore a long time now. I was always wow. a bit transient, um, and. Uh, for different things, so I'm going to be based over here in Asia for quite a while. Probably or, my next move will be to Australia, but I had, I was really? originally leaving here to go to Australia, and then now uh, something came up, so, uh, but it's not a bad time for me now. It's, it's exactly the opposite of New York time, so. Oh, well, uh, yeah, yeah. you're going to be there probably another year. Uh, oh, possibly. I'm just not sure. Things change for me a bit. Uh -huh. yeah. That tubular is sort of there for a bit of work, but also, which I do remote, I can do some remote work. Um, but uh, uh, also, it's actually quite handy if I want to travel to some other places. When, when I was in the uh, La Nouvelle Zelon or the New Zealand, so many far from everywhere everywhere just such a long way yeah 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 that's got to be hard mm. to like move all the time yes well you know i had a cat uh but uh, yeah. i have friends look after that um you believe in that? yeah i'm not going to shift a cat overseas so you can so for me, home, I would say Singapore is home, but it's not, I don't own anything here. Mm. Yeah, um, Mark, okay. Mark Reed was just saying that um, moving is the third hardest thing um, yeah. you go through, like as a person. Yeah. But now, you know, I have downsized. Uh, and um, so because you, what happens is you get so many things 
things are a nuisance in the end if you want to do something different, you know. So yeah. you've, yeah. unless you go and uh, rent a place to keep all your stuff or you keep a house, you've got to find, what am I going to do with all this? Oh, no, I said a, nearly said a bad word. Ah, oh, Aiden! Aiden is gonna... there. Oh, well, Aiden, maybe it's Aiden. Aiden. Oh, it shit, make be. sure you don't say any bad words. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, it, shy, I'm joking. It might be. It, we don't know if it's Aiden or Father Charles or Kent <laughs> or Akela Lilies. <laughs> we never know who we're going to hear. Well, um, grace uh -oh. and peace to you, everybody. I am uh, oh, uh, Kent Hovind here, and uh, <laughs> today we're going to delve into all sorts of different things about Jesus Christ, and we're going to learn all about my telescope, and quite frankly, folks, if I'm going to have to drink any more triple X in order to understand what's going on here, then... I will have to tell you right now that is Mr. Clad Bells himself. The thing I would recommend rather than the triple X is a fine Bordeaux wine. Yes. Oh, oh God. I can't leave. Saturday, uh, 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 Saturday Achilles mentioned what you guys said about uh, not the size of a scout, uh, telescope, but. <laughs> That's what he said on his show. Oh. That. oh, well, good. He has a sense of humor. That's good. <laughs> he said, uh, card ball and big bad mama like that or something. <laughs> oh, yes, I remember, but he'd be disappointed. Uh, you know, I I don't actually have a telescope. I have two of them. I have oh. a binoculars. Binoculars. <laughs> you know that word over there? Binoculars? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So I, I don't have a telescope. I have two. I have binoculars. But, you know, you can see the moon the craters through those binoculars. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And that's, of course, uh, that's where the craters came from, the rocks of the fountains of the deep, apparently. So there we go. <laughs> that's right. They bro That's right. They broke through the magnetic ice canopy somehow. And uh, I guess the magnetic ice canopy healed right as soon as they ended up breaking through or, oh, or, sorry. No, they, the magnetic ice is gone now. Sorry. That's my <laughs> bad. The magnetic ice was happening uh, during the garden of Eden and then it magically disappeared after that. Sorry. Sorry. I need to get my, I need to get my crap straight. Oh, huh. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. I, know, I, know, I, I got a magnetic ass <laughs> to oh. some extent, you know. From a, <laughs> if I had a steel implant, I'd have a magnetic ass. Oh dear! And I'd be glued to the seat. But I tried to rule that out of my life. Mark said, "Why can't his crawfish eating comment post? Do I have certain words blocked? No, I don't. But I've even noticed that myself." Although you wouldn't think that crawfish and stuff is a bit, but if I occasionally have gone to comment on other people's live thing, and if I say certain things that could be slightly um, controversial, it they won't go up. So I think it must be from YouTube. Yeah. Mm. I think I know what he was going to say, but I don't know. <laughs> Might be why I won't post. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mark said he was seeing a beautiful lady for a while, but then he lost his binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very naughty. Oh, yeah. Here is Mark too. <laughs> Hi, Mark. Good evening. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hey. Hi. Hello. Yeah. How are you, Mark? How is everybody? I'm doing all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, Glad I was trying to was ask everybody good. how to eat crawfish in your comments, but I guess you got some words blocked. Uh, no, I don't. No, just saying I don't have any from my end, but I'm wondering if uh, YouTube has, because I've had a similar thing. I've gone to put not so much on my own stream, but on other people's a live stream, and it won't post how, sometimes. It's really well, weird. It's not a scene or anything. You just rip off the head, suck off the juice, bite the meat, and wiggle it out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it sounds sexual. I get it, but I yes, mean, yeah, yeah, 
<laughs> I mean, <laughs> well, you were you, you were accused of having a Ken Hoban fetish earlier today, so I don't think you can get much more sexual than that. <laughs> oh, no. Well, yes, I was accused of that, but the accuser didn't know what that word meant. So allegedly, I mean, well, what do you do then? Like, you don't know what that he he had to poll the audience. His fetish a sexual thing. Yes, that's what the word is. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. Well, you can make anything if you want. You, if you try hard enough, you can make anything a bit naughty. <laughs> uh, yeah, I always try to look on the funny side. The funny <laughs> side. <laughs> um, yes, yes. I see AJ has put up something with uh, some thing between Christian Pike yeah, and uh, Kent. I don't know what show it was from originally uh, huh. or when. But, yeah. Well, I think uh, oh, Christian has debated Kent a couple of times, or at least once. Yeah, I know. It must be from an two. old one then. Yeah. Mm. I think he debated him two times. Two times. Then he, be, then he debated well, two or three, I think. Yeah, three times. And the, after that, he wanted to debate Joseph brother. Mm. Oh. Yeah, Joseph is. That debate. Mm. Is he the tech man now? Yeah, Joe yeah. the sound guy. Yeah, that was a good yeah. one. And he also goes on Proverbs guys sometimes too. He has yeah, his own channel has... too, but he just reposts sea science videos. So... Oh, no. <laughs> that's that's a mistake. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, he's suddenly gone down a bit further in my estimation. Oh. <laughs> so sorry to burst your bubble, Claude. Bubble, uh, yeah. <laughs> the other one I thought was quite funny. I don't know if you ever watched the Creaky Blinder. Creaky oh, yeah. Blinder, which uh, Kent calls Creepy Blind Man. He's got one up now, too. It's only about 10 or 15 minutes, but he's very funny. <laughs> yeah. I did a, a short little mm. music video. I like making those. They're fun. Yeah. And they make me laugh. <laughs> But then I got called a fetishist for some reason. You weren't even so. the one that brought it up. The funny thing is, right, is that you weren't even the one that brought it up in that conversation. And he's getting all mad at you. Like, I don't know why every single time I do these streams, the Ken Hoven drama's got to come up. It's like, you're the one that invoked his name, dude. What are you talking about? Yeah. And like, Which... okay, so they they were talking about me like an hour before I even posted my video. And then I sent my video to Logan and Logan was going to share it with him. And then the whole stream just fell apart. <laughs> Which one was it, this? Uh, P Town. Was, oh, P Town show. Oh, yeah. Gangster's going to send me a link. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, we can review. Dustin got oh. a little pissy and left. Yeah, Dustin got quite heated. Oh, well, that's normal. I, I saw yeah. a terrible thing happen in Baltimore. The other, oh, yeah. The, yeah. the bridge and the. Uh, a big Francis ship Scott come Hebrew. crashing in. Yeah, why? Goodness me. And uh, I think there were six people that lost their lives. Lo yeah, because it, that's it. Because that's a mile and a half long bridge. And, bridge, yeah. like, and in the rush hour thing, traffic, there could be hundreds of vehicles. Yeah. yeah, it was in the early hours of the morning, wasn't it? And I think the ship radioed that it was out of control, you know, it lost air power. Yeah. And I, um, I think they then closed it, but it... it there were workers on there uh, yeah. fixing it, right? And they closed few... it. Yeah, they closed it for traffic, like just in time. I was watching the replays, and you can mm. see the ship approaching, and the lights cut off, and then they come back on, and the ship is just pouring out black smoke. And I think what happened is they yeah. tried to show it in or or put it in full reverse. And yeah. when you do that with a big freight liner, you, you you're rudders are unidirectional they only spin one direction yeah. so when you do that you lose quite a bit of control um they probably could have caught it if the engine hadn't shut down again but it yeah. did and then it was just a crash course from there yeah but they did uh, they were able to call in a mayday but i'm telling you it was almost mm. too late because just yeah not 10 15 seconds before that thing collapsed there was semis going across Regular mm. vehicles just boy, it would have been hundreds, worse. yes. Um, and of course, if you go in the water, it's well, seven degrees Celsius, I think they were saying. Quite I don't cold, know what that is, yeah. So that's very cold. You, you're not going to last more than 15 about 15 minutes, minutes. Yeah. yeah. That's about it. I mean, even the best of the best, 
just yeah. you know that, that kind of temperature we're not cut out for it oh, tragic man. it really is um but you know they're gonna they're gonna rebuild they're gonna rebuild better and God. you know we'll take it in stride that's what we do we're america yeah well goodness it's gonna take a while to get that uh you say route up up and running again the route yeah, well, it's the busiest port in the east on the eastern seaboard. So, yeah. I think nearly a million um, vehicles uh, go through there, through the port on these containers ships. Yeah, every year. So that's that's a big deal, and this that that could take quite a while to clear up. Oh my goodness! Hmm. Yeah. So. Uh... We were just saying earlier it's Big Bad Mama's birthday, so. We... Oh my gosh! Happy birthday, yeah. Big Bad Mama! Yeah, he's not yeah. going to be listening. He's got something else on. He sent me an email, and uh, which I berated him for not coming on on his birthday. I suspect uh, he's, he's got the going out. <laughs> I would say a hot date somewhere, and uh, so we're not going to see. Him for his birthday. I mean, fancy oh, giving been... up a hot, you know, not giving up a hot date uh, to come on here. Ah. He's been seeing a new lady lately, so oh. you know. Oh. Let let the big bad mama work his magic. Right. Weird yeah. as weird sounds to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think what would happen is that if the the new lady saw us, she'd run a mile. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she associates uh, our friend. With uh, the the character of Big Bad Mama, I don't know no, yet. No, 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 no. Now, I suggest he doesn't say too much. <laughs> right. Uh, I suggest we keep that quiet. So you're saying, right? Like I get accused of. Like... Go ahead. Amy. No, that's fine. That's fine, Mark. That's. Fine. I was going to say I no, get I wasn't accused gonna, of I having wasn't speak or anything. I'll, I get accused of having Hoven fetishes, but Big Bad Mama posts videos every day like religiously <laughs> he's got some kind oh, of stamina yeah, when it comes to making shorts that's fine no religiously or doing. irreligiously <laughs> i'm just i'm i'm just highlighting the double standard that certain people have within certain mm -hmm. communities by the names of right. dustin buck and p-town right. um <laughs> i guess you throw lupin and bolin and achilles and some of these others in that lot too but no i, I wasn't obsessing i, I made a, I made a Hoven video for the first time in a long time. So it's just, mm. yeah, sure. Call it a fetish if you want, but it's not. I was quite interested to know, you know, the um, uh, Kent made certain claims and then Anderson made certain rebuttals and then a thing came on on uh, Proverbs guys saying that Anderson was wrong and Kent was right. I wish I knew which was which. I, I, I've just got so confused and lost. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, the Proverbs guy have a very strong bias towards Hoven. Yes. So they're yes. they're gonna they're gonna rally to his court, no matter what happens. I That's mean, what I can't understand because, you know, if Anderson was wrong, I would. You know, that's fine. He's wrong. If Kent is wrong, that's fine. He's wrong. Why do they? Why is the need to deny when somebody is right or wrong when they? You know, agendas. Someone can do some research. It's just because you're going to get caught out in the end, aren't you? Well, let me tell you what I think about those proverbs lies. I think that they're just a bunch of imps <laughs> that have gathered around the Satan <laughs> Luciferian figure that is Ken Hoven, this iconoclast that <laughs> seeks to take everybody that has the slightest bit of good biblical teaching away from the Lord. Oh my goodness! Who was that? <laughs> well, well, that's I mean, me, you... Stephen Anderson here. Oh no, oh, Hoven's okay. <laughs> allowed in this church. That's what I. You know, he's got that where he jumps up and he yells out, "No, people of a different sexual persuasion are allowed in this church." Well, I think someone could change that to instead of saying "no" uh, to "no Hovens are allowed in this church." <laughs> Never, <laughs> you know, no. when he goes. <laughs> well, I mean, if you really get down to brass tacks, um, when it comes to sexual immorality in Scripture, adultery mm. is just as bad as, right. yeah, it really is. And and Ovind is a serial adulterer, and that's something that 
Steven Anderson pointed out. And I think that's why the, uh, the guys over there at Proverbs wanted to, you know, defend Kent because, you know, they're, they're a bunch of whoremongers too. Mm. Well, at because least their leader you, is. I remember it was quite funny when, when I had one of my first ever interactions with Kent, um, and then he didn't answer the question, but he wanted to change the topic. So as he said, have you ever slept with a woman you're not married to? And my answer was, of course, I'm French. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think he knew what to say to that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I mean, Holden I mean, has definitely slept with women yeah. he's not married to, at least not legally married to. Yeah. He might be married to them in his own little fantasy mind world or whatever but on paper legally what matters no he's not married to anyone right now except maybe mary toko because they did have a legal common law marriage before uh, the state of alabama struck down common law marriage as a legitimate form of marriage recognized by the state uh but he was married before that law was um all right so he would have um yes that would be yes. probably under a different uh yeah he he statute. legally if, um, I guess, Mary wanted to pursue it, which I doubt she yes. has the motivation to, but legally, if she wanted to file for divorce from Kent, she could, and I think she should. Yeah. Mr. Gmod, get away with what is supposed to happen to him. Well, I've had a number of women that I've been involved with threatening to do things to me. Or should I say, certain parts of me? <laughs> but I'm not going to suggest. I'm not going to. Yes, they seem like, to attack like the Like kick your ass. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. I say. You that know, was pretty don't, good. Don't attack the balls, and um, <laughs> but that's what they threaten me. They have threatened me with if it's ended badly. <laughs> yeah, a, a little so, rough play is okay. You know. Yeah, safe I mean. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the poor old Claude. But you know, yeah. sometimes, um, yes, we we always when we meet someone new and we enter into a new relationship, we're looking forward to things, and sometimes it doesn't last very long. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, I wish I could. You know, I I would say it's a regret if I could have found the one woman, and for the rest of my life I would be I would be very happy. You know, but it's harder nowadays. You know, yeah, very hard. Oh, uh, well, what about uh, uh, old lady Holven? <laughs> Oh, Lady Heaven, no. Oh, I, I don't know if I've got it in me to face that reality again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or alternate reality. Oh, Lady <laughs> I wonder if you'll ever do Young Lady Heaven. If Ooh. someone will ever do that. <laughs> oh, pineapple. See, I didn't know what the word pineapple means, and Missing Mods put it up for me. So do you call someone a pineapple if... If you're in a like a open it's relationship, a, or something. it's a um. I, I guess you're supposed to put them outside your house or something, and it's like a sign. Oh, you put one. Oh. I've I've never heard that before. No, That's interesting, though. It must be a Florida like, thing. I, I think I, I heard it in a movie somewhere. They were like uh, ha using safe words in their you know whatever, and it was like pineapple, pine. But it was a comedy, so. Oh, pineapple yeah. express. I, I don't remember where I saw that, but for some reason, when I hear the word safe word, pineapple comes to mind because I've seen it before somewhere. <laughs> what happens if you put uh, an orange outside your cell house? What does that mean? Oof, I don't know. Or what happens if you put not a banana. two oh, oranges and a banana? What does that mean? <laughs> Fruit salad. <laughs> uh, oh. oh, that was a good answer. Hmm. Ray Comfort? Yeah. That's what I should have thought. <laughs> oh, here we go. Chubian says, I like the bowl of keys at a singer's party. 
<laughs> no, I think our uh, singles Did he mean swingers party. Swingers, yes, uh, that would be it. yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I couldn't think what was, yeah swingers, yes. Oh my god, slightly different connotations. Swingers yeah. versus swingers. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. I mean, I guess swingers could also be singers and vice versa, but you know, they're not they could, necessarily yeah. mutually exclusive. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like their singing is a little bit more like jazz. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't think I could ever do anything like that. <laughs> no. What what yeah. happened to Fanny Fanny? Fanny Fanny. Oh yes, they used to comment quite a bit, didn't? You? Yeah. I don't know what happened. You know, maybe they were reason? down. Uh, yes, I do know. It's an extremely long, convoluted story, which involves several major alphabet agencies as well as interplanetary organizations. Oh, oh no! If you have oh, seventeen like... hours for the audiobook to be made in real time, <laughs> then we can make the audiobook happen right now. All of you are going to be enlisted as voice actors. By the way, your script will be sent to you. I've had this prepared for several years at this point. <laughs> I'm ready to make it happen. Who are we talking about? Oh, Someone I, don't called... I don't even actually Someone... know. Oh, <laughs> Fanny Fanny used to comment quite a bit. Someone called Fanny Fanny. And they were always oh. quite clever comments, too. Clever mm. comments are the best. Yes. What about Professor Pan? That's who we need in here, right? <laughs> and Crystal Methodist. I see him on the um, Proverbs today. Well, he wasn't oh, on there, not... but he was in the chat. Professor Pants. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Where did Crystal Methodist go? He kept asking for money, and people refused well, to give him money for like a week or two, and he just disappeared. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he <laughs> actually swindled some folks out of money, and just that's why he disappeared. <laughs> uh, yeah, he had to he had to go over to the next town to peddle his snake oil. Gotcha. <laughs> Crystal Methodist. <laughs> that was a great name. I so was the name. PC Presbyterian. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, PC Presbyterian. <laughs> yeah, that one was also really good. Oh, Presbyterian. Oh, Pastor. Yeah. Pastor. Pastor Castle. Well, we've got to find some names, some different names for Baptist. You know, with the chicken, chicken eating. Yeah. You got to watch the show, the last show that I did, because Christian came on. Oh my God, and he was yeah. cracking me up. But he was oh. talking about Lupin and how he was going to infiltrate the the channel over there, and then Lupin oh. came on and started started asking, like t talking about who the Professor Pants might be, and I'm thinking you just missed it. He just said that. <laughs> so, um, for a while there, we were having so many shows we couldn't cope. And now it's gone a bit quiet again. Like for a while there, I could almost guarantee that on any given day there would be either the Father Charles or the Ghost or the Mark or the Mod. Uh, of course, unfortunately, I've slept through Mod shows the last. I'd meant to come on, but um, I was. Uh, it was during my beauty sleep, and I need a lot of beauty sleep. So. Oh God! I heard mm. Steve might set up. A debate between Aiden versus Ken. That'd be great. Aiden as in Aiden or Aiden as in Kent versus Kent. <laughs> that would be... Oh, that'd man. Be, if if, you, if you had enough of a sense of humor to do that, that might <laughs> yeah. be one of the most legendary <laughs> things ever committed to film. Like, it just... I, and this is a genuine, like, okay, all kayfabe and whatnot aside. Let's just put all that aside for a moment. This is a genuine petition to you, Kent. One human being to another. Just once, just once. Can you put this like? Can you put like the pseudo seriousness aside, and can we just be like a little silly for a couple of hours and just have a silly <laughs> little debate? Because I mean, it's gonna make just as much progress towards people's yeah. scientific understanding as the other one. Let's be totally honest. Like, and it would be like, it'd be so fun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It'll have a way larger impact ultimately if uh, if we're just a little silly about it. But he won't do it. I'll I'll, I'll start. Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Ken Hogan from Memphis, <laughs> Alabama. I'm coming to you live right now, and he'd be like, oh, "Shut him down, shut him down, Stephen. I'm not having this. All right, I'm getting off the show." And I'd be like, "Oh, that's all right. I can be that fat Catholic for the rest of the debate instead, if you prefer." 
<laughs> I put a comment from Tubian up. It says, no, Jack, uh, Tubian was raised Jehovah's Witness and had a lot of people in the congregation got excommunicated because they were wife swapping. And I have no doubt in any of any type of thing this can go on, you know, whether it be uh, religious or Christian or non-Christian, it does happen wherever there are people, there are feelings, and feelings can, people get carried away. So this idea that if you're an atheist, you have some terrible morals isn't necessarily true. I reckon we all share very similar, you know, speaking broadly, share similar yeah. morals. And we're all, all likely to get up to mischief if a certain thing is put in, if temptation comes in our way, you know, uh, I think many, many, including myself, I'm not setting myself up as some righteous, you know, um, goody, goody. Um, I would probably be tempted to, to be naughty. Oh. Mm. Well, not I me. Mean, I'm a good girl. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you, you wait till we have his witness and your wife swapping. Just, uh, just, just become a Mormon. Seriously, I mean, like, there's already a system built in where you can be like, yeah, Jesus and stuff, but also I'm gonna get my own planet when I die, and uh, there's, <laughs> we're all children of this kind of special but ultimately not all that special god that we're all going to become ourselves one day if we can yada 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 by the way i get to have multiple wives Woo! what if he became a what uh what was he miss where you could tell the vision well yeah wesley was on the show the other day on the proverbs guy wasn't he uh, did he stay on or did it end in a tragedy <laughs> Oh, uh, I didn't see the end, but he was on there talking to Dan. Yeah. Right. Oh, well. You know about that, Aiden. You were there. Oh, Aiden might have been there as a different character. <laughs> How about you, Mark? What about me? I'm just going to go feed my dog real quick. I'll be right back. What, what do you think of that Wes we was on there? Oh. Uh, Mark, I, I thought it was funny point. that panelists on that show were saying to remove him, and they were completely ignored. <laughs> well, yeah, before Mark, he even said anything, you know, that was the worst. <laughs> but he hadn't even been bad. <laughs> well, that was bubblegum well, gun, though. I think there's a general consensus among certain communities that says that, uh, you know, people with obvious mental ailments should not be platformed because it just subjects them to further ridicule. And I kind of right. agree with oh, that. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. That's perhaps the grounds on which I'm banned. <laughs> they probably yeah. say that I have a certain illness. And <laughs> Oh, well, they outright said it about me today, that I have mental illness and fetishes for Hovind. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Well, per okay. Aspera Ad Astra says that he or she was raised in a purity culture. I don't even know what you're all talking about. And then puts a little <laughs> smiley face with a with a uh, <laughs> angel type thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we're all perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mark, speak for yourself. Gee. Why did they call you Allah? A joke. <laughs> I think only Wesley. I think Wesley is the only person that's ever called me Allah. Well, ga well, gangster ghost. I have a question for you, gangster ghost. Uh oh. Why was it that you will not tell the vision, gangster ghost? I did. Why is it that you look? No, you did not. You yes. did not tell the vision, gangster ghost. I tell I the towel vision. <laughs> well, you you know what? I'm not even going to say anything more because you know it all, Lala. You know it all. Allah. <laughs> uh, and here we are really are. killing the man. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, it's all good. Can we go see Mark? No, I said it's all right. We forgive you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, God, oh. Uh, yeah, it was that's it was crazy. Uh, Dane was talking to Wesley in there. 
Ah. Oh, Dan. Yeah. Dan Posey. He was, yeah. what was he talking about? Who he knows? was talking about Wesley. On that show. All right. Yeah. Well, Dan, actually, you know, I don't want to say anything too good. He might get a swelled head if he's listening. But he stood up for the likes of me and Big Bad Mama who weren't allowed on. He said, oh, well, they haven't even done anything wrong yet. <laughs> so, so, which I thought that was quite nice. So give credit where credit is due. Yeah. They yeah, also they liked you. Uh, Dan always talks good about you. Mark and Father Charles and Miss Outcast. Oh, really? Oh. Permaban. Uh, Tubian <laughs> wants to know, do you have any idea why Wesley calls you Allah, Mark? Um, <laughs> uh, no, I really don't know how he makes that connection. Um, I, I think it's an attempt at an insult, but it falls short. I think he means mm. Allah is the devil, I guess. That well, that's not. Well, that makes sense then. <laughs> it's it's really does not Yeah, I know, but. I mean, Allah way, is the Allah. Arabic word for God. Yeah, I know, but. Well, then, um, he thinks it as the devil, I guess. For some reason. Uh, well, he probably thinks the devil's name is Lucifer, too. L who loves mm -hmm. weed? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, did this guy, uh, when he just started out, his name was Armor Christian. And later on, huh. he said he prayed to God and God told him that he's the new Jesus. Then nowadays, really? he's like, yeah. I have a question, then, Gangster Ghost. Does he pay you to advertise about him? There <laughs> Like, how, no. much, how much? How much brought do you, you get paid? Carl's in the main, right? <laughs> Seriously, like, this case of broadcast has been brought to you by Wendy's, Carl's Jr., as well as Ken Goldberg and the other associates considered with Yum Brands. <laughs> nah, but then later on, he said he's Lucifer because he wants to lead a rebellion against God in heaven. I guess, and mm -hmm. he loves weed. He said, "In heaven, you get to smoke all the weed you want to." Do. You can do that right now. Right yeah, now. But... the idea of that makes him laugh so hard. It's so funny to me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't have to go to heaven to smoke weed. You can just move to like Colorado or something, or you could just smoke it wherever you are. I mean, yeah, yeah. preferably somewhere it's legal, so you don't jeopardize your liberty. Yeah, but then it's no. Yep. Go ahead. Oh, that's right. Uh, Nick, uh, the other day when we watch it, he his stuff he said was so crazy he melted Mark's brain. Oh, Mark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was crazy. really that's trying to happened. follow. I was really trying to follow what he was mm -hmm. saying, and there are certain people that just cannot string a sensical sentence together. Um, Dan Posey being one of them, loose for love, I'm like that being too. another. <laughs> I'm like that too. Yeah, you hold your own most of the time. That sentence was a good one, Missing Mod. I'm like <laughs> that too. That was a very good sentence. Thank you. I've been practicing. <laughs> uh, I think we all get confused at times. Uh, I do, more and more. And and then I often think of something when it's too late to say it. And oh, my goodness. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. But yeah. I'm wondering what would happen, you know, if um, if uh, Jesus returns to Earth and turns out in his earthly form as Long Air, and turns up to Dinosaur Adventure Land, would he be kicked out? <laughs> or Probably. Welcome? Oh, for sure. Or for not sure. believed? No. <laughs> no. No, he would. No, for sure. No, he'd immediately be turned away. Well, I mean, yeah, you know what? I have You're to take it back because... You know, Gina, Gina, I'm just trying to be honest with you right now, all right? <laughs> you, you, you come in here in my lifetime, all right? You're trying to take over the ministry, Jesus. And quite frankly, I really don't appreciate that, all right? This is my ministry. If you want to build your own dinosaur adventure land, if you want to go do that and, you know, open up your own dinosaur adventure land across the street, oh that's great, but this is my dinosaur adventure land, Jesus. So I have to ask you to go away. <laughs> Here's $2,000. Please leave. I can't stand this guy. Pretty so much how we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but Kent's had long hair 
fellas there at Dinosaur Adventure Land before. Yeah, but he doesn't seem to like it, does he? No, and, no, 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 no. Yeah. No, he's very not happy he, with He, he doesn't like the long hair. Lots he probably of doesn't like the tattoos. Choices. Yeah. <laughs> right. If you had a tattoo, he wouldn't like it, would he? I think well, he okay. overlooks a lot of stuff if you can work. Right. Mm. Well, they have a tattoo of you, Carl. Under, well, that's, uh, that's different. Wow. Yeah, that's, well, I'd be, you know, I'd become a saint because I'd just been finding <laughs> there is a Saint Claude, you know. Uh-uh. Yeah, we're talking to him right mm. now. And well, there's another one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I forget what he's the saint of, but I, I was looking him up a bit earlier, so that was good. Is he mm. a saint of love? Gantoven, my son. I have returned, and I must tell you, there is a myriad of sins that you have committed. There is all manner of things, such as adultery, usury, and all my... One topic at a time, Jesus. Come on now. One topic at a time. I'm not going to sit here and allow you to just gish me with a bunch of topics, all right? If you think that I'm guilty of usury, then you can take me to court, and we can settle it in the judge of our peers, all right? <laughs> and an honest cut of law. <laughs> well, that's right. Yeah, as long as the judge is stacked in favor of me, I'm, as long as those ladies at the gas station aren't at the jury, <laughs> hoping. So oh. get that argument. The whole in an honest court of law. It's not a court of law. It's a debate. No, I know. <laughs> but he uses that a lot. Oh, and then an honest court of law. He has to say an honest one because he's lost so many court of law. <laughs> oh. Well, I think he just, just means like you know that's that's who decides on everything on the facts, yeah. right? Not every yeah. the judges. Well, yeah, what the else judges, is there? Yeah. What 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 are they not? I mean, yeah, in a criminal case or a civil mm. case when there's been a tort mm. or an mm. offense, but no, um, and Hoven, my son, you must be punished for your myriads. Oh yeah, well you know what? You know who else was punished just for what they believe in? You know who else was persecuted for what they believe in? Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> So have you ever thought about that? That's true. I mean, I never thought about it that way. Your sentence has been commuted. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. So, um, are there any interesting shares coming up? Anybody knows of? When's your next one, gangster? Ah, uh, I don't know. Ah. Uh, when someone asks him to do one, probably. <laughs> and what about you, Mister Stony and Mud? I I have no plans for streams. I do have a kind of idea for a project that I want to do, which is mm -hmm. to kind of dissect the "What on Earth is About to Happen" series. But I got God. through like the first video, and there's just so much to debunk. It hurts. It's like he's an overload. atheist now, I think. Who can't you? No. No. Oh, okay. Why would you say I that? I I was just guessing, <laughs> just just observing. My Maybe sequel book, much. What on Mars, is about to happen. For heaven's sake, is going to be coming out any day now. <laughs> Oh. Imagine, you know, as this goes out into the universe, like I think like radio waves, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not radio. I wonder if the internet goes out into the universe like uh, television or radio at the speed of light because if, uh, um, if this was seen in a, a civilization 100 years, light years away, they'd think there was no intelligent life on Earth. Oh, my. <laughs> they saw this well, show. You know, that's, that's interesting you bring that up, Claude, because that's called the Fergie paradox. You know, I never was a fan of Fergie myself as a singer in the situation, but apparently <laughs> there's a paradox about her relating to life in the situation, so yeah. Oh, Brett, nice to have you on the show. Well, How's it been going over on your channel? Well, a lot better than yours over here, loser. I'm just going to say that right now. So. Figured <laughs> I'd that. come over here and actually give you a fighting chance of being somebody on YouTube. You know? <laughs> Have you uh, managed to leave the house yet? Uh, 
for medical appointments or to buy um, more food? Well, I'll tell you what. All right, uh, the new extension that they're putting in in my home to be able to accommodate my hulking body has not arrived yet, but it will be here soon. Have you ever heard of the device that they put over the Chernobyl reactor? Because it's so radioactive and toxic, they had to build that giant building around it in the situation in order to stop the toxic fumes from leaking out. Yeah, they're having to do the same thing in Festus. They're calling it the Brett sarcophagus in the situation. Oh, oh very interesting. And do you still enjoy the uh, that uh, macaroni cheese food? Well, I, I've actually expanded my uh, culinary de uh, delights to a, ch a French dish, as a matter of fact. Oh, yeah, expanded might be the right word. That's right. So, um, <laughs> yeah, the French word for the dish is uh, fromage de macaron, was their name for the name. Oh, the fromage. Uh, oh. No, fro fromage. Oh, fromage. Oh, fromage. Oh, fromage. Oh, fromage. Okay. From our, oh wow, cheese on oh, the macaron. Mm. That's very no good. No one tried saying from my oh, earlier, and I said, <laughs> Shut up, Rich. And I threw the block of cheese at her head, so she knew <laughs> what was what after that. <laughs> oh, no. She sounds like a, a woman that has to put up with a lot. Well, you know, it's not necessarily a big deal when it just harmfully bounces off. It's not necessarily yeah. a big deal. Big deal, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness! Who wants? What's a new character? Missing mod. I'm gonna let you select the character this time. I I, I know who your favorite character is deep down inside. Nope. I know I know that you, you claim you claim that this character is somebody that you don't like, but deep down you, inside, missing mod. Deep down you inside, do me, do me. <laughs> that one was a good one, but uh, you already know which one my favorite one is. You didn't. You haven't done him at all either. Hey, oh. everybody. Missing Mod here. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to wait for a few uh, people to join. Dustin. I know. I know. It's I know. Dustin. We should watch least, Dustin's nope. meltdown from today. At least I, Aiden I think I would actually get uh, a lot of joy out says, of that. At least Aiden actually <laughs> says stuff that I say. <clears throat> That's um, a plus. Wow. Wow. Where did Dustin have a meltdown? Which show? Was oh, that, that was on. on that That's was the P Town show earlier today. today. Hmm. Oh, Aiden, could you do a parody of Mark's voice? Um, I have a very. Hey, Aiden, how's it going? It's me, Mark. <laughs> Step me. Wow. Just Nailed got it. finished smoking a giant crack pipe. <laughs> <laughs> it, it wasn't quite right. <laughs> Close enough. Need some work. Need more work. <laughs> yeah, it's like Patty and Selma from The Simpsons had even more cigarettes. <laughs> oh what channel is That's the P Town rough. channel? What, what <laughs> channel? Uh, look, just type in the search bar P Town. That's all you need to know. No, you'll find. That's no, all I've done. It. It'll take it you straight there. No, it has Mark's, it. Making, Mark's making you work on all cinder blocks right now. <laughs> it's, honestly, the first thing that's come up is gay P Town. Everything you need to yeah, know. Yeah, that's the first thing the link. You didn't specify which P Town you were looking for, okay? <laughs> I'm going to get the link right now. Gay yeah, because yeah, this one is uh, it's got <laughs> it's come up with Province Town, the gayest town in America. P Town. <laughs> 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 I thought that was interesting. <laughs> P-Town Theory. <laughs> hey, guys. How's it going? It's me, P-Town, here. Oh, this is a horrible goodness. impression. I can't really do P-Town because he's kind of got a generic voice, too. He's like, he's like Adam Lord's dad. But... Just go for slightly effeminate, and you'll be good. Aiden, I want... Jesus Christ, to slap you on the butt when you're in the shower. All right? <laughs> that is something he actually said. I know, I know. That's why I've, that's what makes it funny. What's it going to take for Jesus to come in the shower and slap you on the butt? Yeah. I it's mean, in the private chat. 
Claude. Uh, thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, yes. I can hear someone's kitty cat. Yeah, Is that's that right? Stuart. Stuart. Uh, yeah. Let that poor cat back product. out. No. He's the product. Why not? Crap straw, our baby cakes. He, yeah. Stuart <laughs> took off about nine months ago, and I haven't seen hide nor hair of him until last week. And he just randomly showed up and moved right back in like he owned the place. He, like he was never to gone. Night, and now no, you're going to take his balls off. Thanks. Yes, that is exactly what I'm going to do. Which I know that wasn't your idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, yes, I need I to get him fixed. Mm-hmm. I he's Maybe probably um he's too. probably been been adopted by somebody, and he came to say hello. And he, because I mean, it was freezing outside, right? Like throughout well, that time that he was gone. I mean, let's be honest, Vincent Mod. I mean, Mark Stoney is a monster. I mean, earlier in the show, he was talking about. I'm glad that six people died on that bridge. Honestly, I mean, <laughs> you know, he was glad that six people was all that died. I mean, I'm sure he he said it under the cover of I'm glad it was only that amount of people. But if you clip it selectively enough on your channel, Missing Mod, you get it. So he says, I'm glad six people died on that bridge. Can I don't think do I ever that? said anything about being glad, though. No, he didn't. No, you, you see, didn't. he actually said that you were glad that there was only six people because of the capacity of people that could be on the bridge was what you actually said. But yeah. come on, now, I, for the sake yeah. of removing any kind of context from the situation. Well, if I all right, anything, let, let me put it it'll this be way. The, it could have been a it'll lot It'll be worse. the Netflix and chill thing. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that could, that? Have been, could have been a lot worse, all right. <laughs> What? Uh, guys, in about five minutes, I'm going to have to wrap it up. So I don't know all if anybody right. else wants to start something up. Are you going to oh. have a show, Mark, at all? Or? Oh, no, no, no. Not tonight. Oh, ghost? ghost. No. Oh, right. You only have limited time on your uh, stream yard, don't you? Yes, and I'm, I'm, I have to go and do a few things now. So, um, oh, fair enough. But I love to hear that, that little cat in the background. Yeah. Right. So, Come, Come here, up. Stuart. Come here, little boy. <laughs> Stuart. He's a good kitty boy. Wasn't he really Stuart, is. He's, he's quite a cool cat. Was Stuart, Stuart a mouse? <laughs> no. <laughs> he's a little oh. tabby cat. And he gets along with everybody, including the just, dog and the other cat. Well, can we just like take a moment so to talk about how messed up it is that like there's actual children in that orphanage and those parents of like an affluent household that could have like lifted a child out of poverty were like, yeah, let's adopt this mouse. Like that's gotta <laughs> hurt just a little bit if you're a kid in that orphanage and the mouse yeah. is the one that's walking out. And they have a car. You see them drive by in a little souped up vehicle like the next week. Like that's gotta <clears throat> hurt just a little bit when you're yeah. on your bunk bed with your thin gruel for breakfast. <laughs> poor Stuart Little. No, not poor Stuart Little. He was overly privileged. He was overly entitled. And he was <laughs> of the working class, Mark Stoney. Wow. That's what he really is. Struck a nerve he represents with, the proletarian and he and needs Stuart to be Little. Taken what do you got? Down. A fetish for Stuart Little? Is that That's what it right. is? Are you obsessed? Hey, you make you videos about illness? Stuart Little every Just day. Just admit it. It's obvious. You're obsessed. You've got fetishes for Stuart Little. <laughs> Oh my yeah, that's, goodness. That's the logic that I faced earlier today. Uh, yeah, I was just wondering, if, uh, it, unless unless you have to go in just a minute or two, could we quickly pull up the the the, the Dustin fiasco? <laughs> but if you don't yeah, have right. time, that's okay. I no, don't have the help. ability to share because I'm on my phone, but uh, it's not yeah. yeah. put it in the private chat. Yeah. Okay. So I, I'll put that up. I'll try to find the spot where you can skip to. Because if you can find it, yeah, I've got it now, and I can put it on. And if you tell me the spot, yeah, that would be good. Uh, you can just kind of scroll to where I popped in there. Um, yeah, so it shows up at about uh, 49, 48 minute mark, 48, yes. 30. Somewhere around which is, there. <laughs> which is so um, weird because I was talking to Adam, and I, I got off. The pho- I got off the phone and literally was there. I thought that I had missed like some prior stuff going on because I got there when he was already in there, and it was like, nope, he just got there. Whenever I got there, I thought that was kind of weird. Hold on, what? Uh, I just Adam. got there when you got in the room. 
I need um, I need to get in touch with Adam, but I don't know how to. Um, other than on his live streams, we're supposed to go have a coffee date or something. Um, Facebook. I mean, that's. Hmm. How yeah, many I'm... seconds did you say it was about fifty? 48, 48 minutes, minutes uh, 50 seconds kind of thing. How many minutes, sorry? 48. 48, okay, I'm going to it. Yeah, 48, 40 kind of thing is where it kind of kicks off. Right, well, I'll uh, start her up. Uh, I'm just going to go to share my screen. I have to talk my way through it. Make sure you click the tiny box that has the audio shared, too, because StreamYard has the tiniest little box for you to click to share your audio. Why isn't that just already selected by default? Right? Yeah, stupid. Yeah. I mean, surely there's um, been, like, just a plethora of people who have used StreamYard and tried to share their screen, and suddenly the audio's not working. And it's like, oh, hit the audio tab. I know it's happened plenty of times with us. Can you see it now? Yes. Yes, we can see it. Right. Oh, there I am. Okay. Right. Hear. I'm going to kick it off now. Do unmute it, though. That would help. Oh, good idea. And also full screen. It's noise. Wow, Mark. It's, wow, just taking over. Quad I'm show, trying honestly. to be helpful, okay? Mm. <laughs> um. Where have I got it muted? On the video itself. I just want to say. If All right. Ran, okay. Sorry. Hairy <laughs> testicles right up in your mouth, bro. I like that. You're, this is what you're going to hear, bro. I, swear. I'm not, I don't got yeah. nothing. Right. I better go back. <laughs> All right. He was propositioning me for some um, very activities. Explicit, explicit activities that I'm not interested in. You know. It's quite shocking. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Not a fan of. Balls <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> he beat me by one second. Ah! So a little uh, context. They they were already trash talking me before I came on, which is why I came on. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a good reason. <laughs> ah, both of our brains went there. I hate you. I hate you. I love you, but I hate you at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Bond, your, question, your question is uh, answered. Get out of here, Stoney. Nobody wants Stone? you here. At least I don't. Dude, in get him flash. out of here. I don't want him. I don't even want to oh, listen to him. Get him off cry. the screen. Ooh, Dude, ooh. you're going to cry, bro. bro I promise you that. Bro, bro. Lick my balls, Mark. Not Both gay. of them. Sorry. Hairy <laughs> testicles right up in your mouth, bro. You'd like that, wouldn't you're, you? This is what you're going to hear, bro. I you'd swear. Really I'm not, I don't got bro. nothing nice to right, say to you. Right. Get him out of here. Now, kiss my ass, dude. Oh, my goodness. No. Both everyone, cheeks. Everyone, everyone, everyone. Both Sweetly cheeks. Sweetly and Christian Dude, love, you, you, you had to know this wasn't going to go well. P-Town, get him out of here oh. or I'm leaving. Boo-hoo. <laughs> Boo-hoo. I'm serious, P-Town. No, I'll dip and... out, bro. I don't want to have anything oh. nice to say to this guy. You don't want to hear it. Let's hear it. What do you have to say? And why? Uh, mm. Dude, I, I I got lots of reasons, dude. Just I don't have anything one. nice to say. Look, I'm, I'm out of here, P-Town. I'll catch you later. Just name one. All right, come. Well. No. I didn't have, I didn't say very nice <laughs> things about you either. Yeah. Okay. So is that it? Or is that, it going on a bit? the Dustin Buck uh, meltdown. Yeah. Oh, my and goodness. And I kind of yeah. went back and forth for a little bit. And ultimately, yeah. he did apologize for saying I had a fetish for another man mm. which i mean i oh. don't not that you know i'm disparaging anybody that does because you know to each their own but like not me that's not my thing and there's nothing wrong with that oh my goodness <laughs> well for the and sake like, of claude's for stream yard time i think we yeah begin wrapping it up okay <laughs> well a good way to uh, close it out it was fun, and thank you very much for all for the participation. And uh, we'll see you again on someone's show or my one or whatever. Great, good to see you, Claude. Good thanks for having me. Bye, everybody. Yeah, thanks for doing the show. Bye. Claude. See you then. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 <laughs>